what's up everyone welcome on back to the channel thank you as always for being here thank you for for stopping by for coming in whether you're here for the first time you may even be here for the last time but i i'm glad that you're here for a time let's go ahead and listen to uh this band blank mange blanc mange doesn't that mean like white eat is this french blanc white mange like to chew like white i don't know we're going to listen to their track Living on the Ceiling off their album Happy Families, which was released in 1982. Uh, I've never heard of the band, but they have been suggested by the likes of the following. Uh, Lily Sasky, Lily Sasky, I believe that's how you pronounce your name. Sharky, 25, UK there as well. Uh, 6581 Punk, GP Reactions, SSPS555, which I believe is the same person, perhaps. And um, uh, Thrusta, 100. So thank you guys so much for the suggestion on this one. Let's go ahead and dive in. We'll talk about it after. Here we go. Okay. Kind of like that.
Guys, that was a really, really great listen. So I've never heard of the band. Is all of their music like this? Because this was such a standout track. It began kind of, I guess, for lack of a better word, in like a, not typical, but like, you know, okay, it's going to be kind of synth poppy and dancey and poppy. Okay, I hear that. I like I like the bounciness of it. And I was enjoying the track, no no doubt on that. But as soon as, uh, as, soon as we got into the sitzhar, I was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 where are we going with this? Because... I don't know where we're going, but I'm liking the journey. I'm, I'm taking the trip with you down this lane. That was so fantastic, and I love how it wasn't just a one-off. It was a regular motif that occurred at least three times throughout the track here. And then I could really hear on the second and third the extra percussion that was being added in there. And I do see here that it's going to be Deepak Kazan Kazanchi on the sitar, and then uh, Pandit Dinesh on the tabla on this track. That is really, really fantastic. Now... Besides that, I really enjoyed the lead singer on here. It's going to be, it looks like, Neil Arthur on the vocals, guitars, electronics. His singing could, listen, I'm not making a one-to-one -one comparison, but his singing and his manner of speaking reminded me a lot of David Byrne from Talking Heads. In that, like, yes, there's that, there's, there's more of a melodic speaking slash melodic kind of outburst, not quite yelling, but a more melodic outburst in his vocals here. Um, even though like it kind of edges into singing occasionally. And I really enjoy that kind of reckless, not complete abandon, but that kind of reckless, like just kind of speaking and shouting and <laughs> what, am I, what am I doing? You know what I mean? You, you hear, you heard the music, you know what I'm talking about, but I really enjoy that, that style there. Um, this track was really good. I like how the synths really kept up and, and arose in the back half of the track to give it that extra push into the ending. This was a really, really good track. I'm impressed with this. And I liked how in the um, in the verse, in the starting in the second verse, I could hear it. I'm not sure if it was present in the first. But you could hear someone speaking deeply underneath the singing as well. I thought that was a neat little, uh, little detail in there. Let's kind of dive into the lyrics here and see what we're speaking about living on the ceiling. You keep running around and around. Well, that's all right with me. Up and down, I'm up the wall, I'm up the bloody tree. That's all right with me. That's all right with me. Well, it feels all right to me. It looks all right to me. I'm so tall. I'm so tall. You raise me and then you let me fall. I'm so small. I'm so small. Wrapped around your finger. You see me fall. He's saying, you're, you're moving me this way. You're putting me that way. You got me living on the ceiling. You got me doing all this, all these things. That's all right with me. Living on the ceiling. No more room down there. Things fall into place. You get the joke. Fall into place. I like that idea. Living on the ceiling. There's no room for you down here. <laughs> I'll, or no room down there. I like that, that imagery there. Uh, hiding from your questions, questions you won't ask. Why am I up the tree, you say? Why are you down there, I say. Yeah, right, little perspective. You're up there, why are you up there? <laughs> why are you down there? Mm. I'm so tall, I'm so tall, you raise me, then you let me fall. I'm so small, I'm so small, wrap around your finger, see me fall. It, it sounds like a troublesome relationship. That's what it sounds like to me. It says that this particular track uh, it became their first UK Top 40 hit, peaking at number 7 and reaching number 5 on the Australian Singles Chart. Um, it says that... Uh, let's see if there's anything else interesting on this here. Uh, reporting in a 19... or not 19... 2011 interview with Neil Arthur, it was suggested that it was the Indian influence of Dinesh on Tablas and Deepak on Sitar who had both given Living on the Ceiling its alluring flavor. Uh, which, yeah, I mean, it is quite, quite the... Um, Quite the alluring flavor, I guess, if I'm just re to repeat what they said. Uh, and yeah, there's some other stuff about it, but we ain't reading all that. Anyways, I enjoyed this track a lot. Let me know if this is kind of, like, is this their sound? Is this like their standard? Or is this kind of the outlier of, of their sound and their discography and their stuff? Anyways, let me know in the comments down below. Follow me over on Twitter. Support the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys for being here. And I'll see you snazzy birds later. What's a snazzy bird? Bye, guys.